Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to install WPS Office for Linux. So WPS Office is available for quite a lot of operating systems, but the only thing that matters to us is the Linux version. So to get the Linux version, go to wps-community.org and uh, click the Get It Now button. So there's a bunch of different files here they have like uh, in their little community area they have a bunch of different distributions for languages and you don't need to worry about any of that what we need to worry about is the the little version numbers here so there's alpha 21 and this is a release from 2017 and there's another release for 2016 so the version that we need is alpha 21 so they have a tar gz version which you can use if you don't have a debian or ubuntu or fedora slash seuss setup i am using debian so i'm going to need to download the amd64 version of this if i was using ubuntu i would also click this if i was using fedora or open seuss i would click one of these um, if you don't have like i said if you don't have any of these there is no snap package or flat pack so you're just going to need to click on one of these and install it that way and that way we'll, I will go over at the end of the video. But we click this button here. This will download a deb. We can click open when done if we're using Chrome. So it'll automatically open in our software manager installer of choice to save time. Uh, <clears throat> we just gotta wait for the package manager to load up. Uh, sometimes it'll say this package or dependency isn't satisfiable. And to fix that, we will need to solve that problem. So sometimes when using Debian, packages have outdated dependencies. And to solve that, all I did was go to pkgs.org and I searched for the link here. If you need this information, I will add it in the description. But you just need to download a version of libpng12, which again, like I said, you literally just take this, you go to packages.org, and then you search and you find the one that works for me is the Debian 8 one. I got the 64 bit version because I am using the 64 bit version of WPS Office. Then you just open up the package installer again and you can click the install button and everything will install like it's supposed to. If you're using Ubuntu, chances are you're not going to have this problem, but Debian has a issue with dependencies sometimes, which makes it hard to use certain programs or install them. and Sometimes you got to do the due diligence of searching for packages. If you can't fix the dependency issue, it might be a good idea, even if you're using Debian and you know that there's a package available, to just use the binary release. Once it's installed, you can look for WPS Office in your, in your menu, and we see we have Presentation, Spreadsheets, and Writer. If we open up Writer, uh, we see we have our... our WPS Office application that we can use to write documents. We can go and search for our spreadsheets if we want to do something like Microsoft Excel, uh, add some numbers, and we have presentation as well, which lets us make spreadsheets. Excuse me, it lets us make PowerPoint presentations. I get confused sometimes. But uh, that is the Debian way of installing it. If you need, again, like I said, if you need libpng, if for some reason you can't find it, just go to packages.org and search for it, download the latest link and install that. Uh, and it should be good. So I mentioned earlier that there is a way to install it without using the RPMs or the devs. And this is the little tar.xz files here. So the 2017 version is the latest release for Linux. So we can click here and we can click the download button. And this archive will download. And we can go to our downloads folder here and we see it's all downloading. And uh, we need to wait for it to finish downloading. But once we do, we can just right click and then click extract here. It will take a little bit of time because it's a lot of data. But once it's extracted, we can go into the folder and we can look through and decide exactly where we should install this program. Now, I'm not exactly going to install this because I already have it installed with uh, the Debian stuff. You know, I have the Debian package installed already and I don't want to conflict with packages or, or make it so I don't know which one to uninstall. 
but suffice it to say, if you get it installed, you need to just right click and do open in terminal if your file manager allows it. If not, you'll need to use the CD command and go directly here like so. Once you're in there, there is a script that you can run to install fonts. And uh, basically all you're gonna need is just this readme text file right here, which we can open up. And it goes over all of the instructions on how to use it. Anyways, guys, this is how to install WPS Office for Linux, uh, the 2017 version. So uh, I wish that we could get the 2018 version, but I'm pretty sure that the 2018 version isn't released for Linux yet. In any case, please, please just check out the description for the article we have written, and uh, I will see you in the next video.